Oh, I love it. <laughs> yesterday, hold on. Yesterday, when I did your reading, if you were not able to watch it, I'll put it in the comments. Okay, it's just for you specific. Because when I said I'm going to do a giveaway, right? I said I'm going to give away. I said I have to do it here all the way to Sunday. Um, the first card that I got was the Ace of Cups, if you remember, okay? And then now, because I'm still doing the giveaway, I feel like you guys are really blessed right now with Venus in the seventh house for you. Look at that. Your first card is lovers. And I even get a new deck. So this is this one. Remember I said yesterday? So it's still going on, guys. Okay, I'll tell you how to get the... This is a giveaway and how you can win it. Okay, so this is a heart pyrite. Oh, it's amazing, the, the beauty. I'll talk more about it. Oh, I love it. I love it for your sign. Leos, let's see. We are still on the eclipse watch for you guys. It's uh, 15 days or 14 days left for the upcoming eclipse because it is in the 24th. Okay. Now, um, I also am um, giving away a free a lunar eclipse report. And we're not done with that one. So I just finished a free class that I'm giving away to everyone. Um, if you want to find out how to get the top 10 relationship remedies for free, it's a free class. Stay tuned all the way to the end and I'll share it. Now the lovers is here. Venus is in your seventh house. It's not synchronicity, guys. Okay, it is meant to be. This is when, as above, so below. So if Venus is in the seventh, the graha, right? Um, uh, Shukra, actually, also, is up there in your seventh. It's blessing you. Number four right now, Venus, four degrees. Security, transfer in your relationship. Get that? Mm. Two days in a row. Okay. So the lovers is here because... One, it's a past life connection, which is, we'll deal with that. That's a Saturn part, you know. This is the work that you're putting on, uh, putting in this connection. Um, I feel like just the first card alone shows the chemistry between the two of you is amazing. I feel like just the first card alone, um, this is one of those relationships where nobody, uh, or let, you haven't experienced with anyone else, okay? I like the card this here. It's not the traditional one where... The other one is lusty. The other one is looking for a soulful. I feel like the two of you are looking for the same thing. Okay. We love that. Okay. I'm so happy for you. Let's see. Two of Pentacles, but not everything has been settled. Which I told you, as, as long as Saturn is combust, which is it's going to be over pretty soon, when Sun is out of uh, Aquarius, it goes further to Pisces, it's going to be much more better because Venus and Saturn, they're best friends. It's interesting, right? Because Venus is this pleasure seeking, you know, as beauty, you know, and, you know, Saturn is about the hard work. Saturn is about the, what do you call this, the patience, all these things, you know. So, but them too is actually a perfect pair. Mm -hmm. That's why Saturn is exalted in a Venus sign, which is Libra in Swati Nakshatra. And, uh, but uh, Venus exaltation though is in Pisces, Okay. So here with the Two of Pentacles, with the lovers, nothing yet is certain, but the two of you can be getting to know, uh, can like be getting to know each other. I don't know if it's a correct grammar, but you guys are getting to know each other. Five of Cups missing this person, the connection. So chances are either they're far from you, look at that, and there's two cups right there. So this is where you're looking at. So you're not with them physically, and then you guys miss each other. Mm-hmm. I don't sense that this card right here is about, oh, someone screwed up. You just miss the good times, how you guys go out on dates, movies, you know, like concert or road trips. What happened to your person then? Because you've been thinking about them a lot. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. Look at that. Four of Wands. So... You know how when I say auspicious, this is the best time. So every time there's a transit, it is the best time, right? And you will feel it. Now, transits, though, go, they go by fast. You know, it depends what, what's the planet, you know. Like Saturn will be two and a half years. So a year and a half more, Saturn is going to still stay in Aquarius. But Venus, she is fast. Okay, she's fast. She's always close to the sun also. 
So it's like 30 days or something with Venus, with Mars. Mars is very unpredictable. It can be fast and it can stay in one sign for six months. It depends. Okay? Mars is the, the most erratic planet. Okay? But Mars is not involved right now in your seventh house. Mars is going to go to your seventh house though pretty soon because it's 26 degrees in Capricorn. But what I want you to focus, lovers and the four of wands, which is very timely, okay, for you to do all the remedies, all the, you know, manifestation to bring this relationship into reality. Because it's, it's meant to be. It is meant to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am just in awe. Okay. I'm going to hold this together. Hey! Heart and then two cups. And what did I just say? Meant to be. Some crystals just don't work with your sign. If you're tired that your crystals are not working the way that you would like to, well, I'm a crystal expert and I made specific double Piao crystal bracelet just for your sign. Get yours right now at eTreatLove.me. So I told you meant to be, right? Two of cups, the lovers, and the four of wands. Look at that. If this is not meant to be, I, all these cards are just indicating partnership, relationship, marriage, union, soulmate, and the love of your life, basically. It's amazing. So, when I did uh, your, let me see. Ooh, but you guys, are, you guys have separated the Ten of Swords. That's why you miss this person. So, when I made your um, Zodiac Piao, I specifically chose a very strong, okay, crystal here, which is, it's not like crystal, but it's a fool's gold, we call it. It is the pyrite, and that's why I was giving this, okay? So, I just finished a class, the top 10 remedies for relationship. It's free. So, if you get your Zodiac Piao, you'll get that for free. It's going to get added to your cart instantly. So, if you are, because I feel like you should be remedying this relationship, okay? You watch the whole class. And then it comes with a free eclipse report for all 12 signs. You get it. Uh, so I don't know if you're going to watch, uh, read from your ascendant or moon sign. It's up to you. And then it comes with a free March horoscope also. Not done yet. And I'm still making this all the way to the weekend because I extended it. Because we got so much orders, yes. Okay. Obsidian and Citrine with a Piao, okay? So if you saw earlier, those are like thousands of orders. So I had to extend, on, you know, this Sunday. So you can get this free. It is also free shipping in the U.S. I got excited, so I jumped into this. Okay. Um, it's free shipping in the U.S. And we do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Yes? And right now, Venus is 4 degrees. So I said yesterday, whoever gets their Zodiac Piao, okay, which is this one for the Leos, you'll be instantly joining this magical, uh, you know, giveaway. Okay, so this one is from Peru, okay? I have this with me for like, I don't know, maybe seven years. It's been long because I, I, I got, I remember I told you yesterday, I got like more than $8,000 worth of pirate and this one stick with me, okay, for the store. So yesterday you got the Ace of Cups and now you got the Lovers. So this is probably connecting with you to manifest that relationship, okay? So I hope you will win and I'll announce, I'll announce in the other video who will. So as soon as you get this, you're part of it. I'll just, I'll get the names and then let's see who will win. I love it. Okay. Leos are meant to have a partner right now. Amazing. Now you guys are separated though with a seven, uh, with a 10 of ones and then the seven of ones is restriction. I'm not sure what are the obstacles in this relationship, but that's normally the obstacle. Ace of Wands right here, I feel like you want to pursue, right? So you want to reach out, but your person is kind of not welcoming it, the energy right now. So the restriction part is Saturn in your seventh house. So I don't have a sphere here, but let's just say this is a, um, I don't have a sphere. Okay, let's just say this is a sphere, right? So Saturn has rings, right? Saturn is the only planet that has rings. Those are the restrictions. Yes. So actually, it's, those are, I, I believe, some uh, you know, moon from Saturn that has, uh, you know, not collapsed, whatever. But, you know, those are actually parts of the moon. Not our moon, but his moon, Saturn. So it becomes a circle right there, okay? But I'm not, uh, what do you call this? Uh, um, uh, I do practice astrology, but I don't practice astronomy, okay? So you have to look at what is it really about the moon. But in astrology, those are the restrictions. So there is restrictions right now which you can remedy the restriction. That's why when in the class I give, I think the number, you can do the number seven or the eighth. 
as far as like remedy, if you feel like this person is worth remedying, okay? Or this relationship. Yeah, you're so hopeful. You're gonna find a solution. I feel like you haven't given up. You still want to connect with your person. But they have their own obstacle, which that's something that you can, of course, manifest. Like, okay, well, I'm going to manifest to get through whatever hurdles that you guys have right now. It can be distance right now. It can be communication, which is the remedy for one, two, three. Remedy that I did was for communication. Okay? I won't have time today to do your extended because I got to go and start making, of course, your Zodiac Piao. Now, this is still available if you're watching on a Sunday, but I cannot promise after that because of the eclipse coming um, pretty soon. Okay? So make sure you, you get it before the end of Sunday. I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day.